What's good, y'all? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Tapping back in with another one, guys. And we got a hip-hop blog for y'all. And on this one, as like any other blog, I always want to hear from the people. But I extra, extra really want to hear from all the hip-hop heads out there. Damn, I'm stuttering like a motherfucker. Um, we got like a, you know, a top 10 list. And as we know, these cause some very heated debates. But you see where we're at. We're on the game's Twitter page, right? And shout out Deuce Times, a subscriber of Jay Coffee Talks, who's been rocking with me for a minute. Me and him had a, a nice uh, discussion uh, a week or two back about some hip hop, all kinds of stuff, man. Make sure y'all hit them lives where you can tap in and, you know what I'm saying, get up on the panel and chop it with coffee. It's 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 a good time. You know what I mean? We have some good discussions and some debates. But um, he said, and yo, I seen you the other day too, bro. I apologize. That live was... We, you know what I mean? It was it was turned up, but I seen you asking about J. Cole. We'll definitely break that down with some content. But Deuce Times was like, yo, Coffee, you're always getting at the game. I mean, y'all already know what it is with WAC 100, but he was like, Coffee, why you always type shitting on the game? Like, what is it? And listen, I was like, man, the game was one of my favorite MCs. You feel me? And, um, you know, like, obviously I can separate... Uh, the rapper, like their music from the person, but the game just did a lot of sucker ish, in my opinion. I don't know, you feel me? And I don't know, we'll, we'll get to that, but peep it. Game put this tweet up, he said, The top 10, or I'm sorry, my top 10 best rappers alive, list in order, not including myself. So this ain't including the game, right? But, um, peep it, number one, Jay Z. Now, um, on this date in hip hop, one of the dopest Instagram pages out there, he shared this and he said, man, game still trying to get that feature, huh? The game played himself out of the Jay-Z feature, like from dating back to very early on in his career. Now, let's break this down, y'all. Right. Um, the documentary drops. Right. Now, you remember early on. Fifth spoke about there's audio clips out there. I thought about putting it in the video, but I said, fuck it. I can break it down to y'all. You guys remember early on when the game was overseas, he went on stage, right? And he did a, you know, uh, what he, Jay-Z, Ken, S, my, uh, Beanie Siegel, Ken, Math Bleak, Ken. You know what I'm saying? He was dissing the whole rock, including Jay. Invite, like, you know, talking on some 6 9 talk to him, although 6 9 wasn't even thought of back then, and now we wish we could forget about him. You feel me? But he was talking real greasy. One thing you just don't say unless you're, you know, y'all know, you don't say that to someone. But anyways, um, it was overseas, and I guess, I guess Fifth was like, we'll take care of that. You know what I'm saying? Then, you guys remember the clip that's included on the documentary when he's talking to um, Ed Lover on the radio, right? He said, uh, Yo, that that line about don't drive, uh, what do you say? Don't rock button up shirts and drive Maybachs or whatever. Um, they said, yo, you're talking about Jay Z, and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't take shots at legends. That's just something I don't do. I was talking about Ja Rule. Guys, let's be honest. Like, hit the comments. Do y'all agree that was about Jay Z? Like, come on, that was about Jay Z. And then we know later on in his career, I want to say. Uh, it was when the Blueprint 2 dropped. Remember Jay-Z, the death of auto-tune? Game went on a full-out dissing Jay-Z campaign. You know what I'm saying? Um, what did he say? Or no, I'm sorry, that was the Blueprint 3. He he was talking about um, death of auto-tune. You know, uh, Jay was a hater. And yo, to keep it funky too, that whole death of auto-tune thing didn't really work out for Jay, right? Remember T-Pain started getting at him. Um, and it didn't really hurt auto tune. Not saying that's like Jay was, was trying to do, but I don't know. That just didn't really pan out. Didn't really go nowhere for Jay, in my, in, in my opinion. Y'all let me know what you guys think. But anyways, on the intro, Jay-Z uh, mentioned uh, the game. And let's not, there's there's a lot of other little things. Like, y'all can hit the comments, please. Like, because there's a lot of little other instances out there where he kind of uh, took shots at Jay, right? Was it was that who he was talking about on One Blood when he said, you 38 and you still rapping? Uh, I'm the, so is the dubs. That was, I think that was about Jay too, right? And then he said he wasn't, like Game was doing a lot of that, like a jab at Jay, but it was like, you know, a subliminal or kind of, and he would always back off it. You know what I mean? But 
He never got the verse. He never got the verse from Jay. And uh, the whole bleak beef, too, that kind of ends up in there as well. Like, the whole get low thing. Um, I will say, though, over the get low records, back when Game was rocking with JT, the bigger figure, um, who, man, what a, what a, what a, something else that guy turned out over the past couple of years like side conversation we know jt the bigger figure been in the game a long time breaking a lot of big movements and artists in hip-hop before they went somewhere else like you know what i'm saying like he kind he brought the game out and then you know as far as to the masses though dre is the one that gets the uh props for that you know what i'm saying but really jt the bigger figure is the one that kind of got the game shaking and moving in the rap game. You know what I'm saying? But uh, on that 300 bars to the deep cover beat, he was going in on Memphis Bleak and Joe. What he's, man. But uh, I don't know. Memphis Bleak says he pressed up on him somewhere in the game, wanted no smoke. Who knows? You know what I mean? And he took some shots at him over the years. So I'm spending a lot of time on the first artist on the list. I know. But uh, what do y'all think? Like, it, what is this? Now all of a sudden here we are and he's like, Jay-Z's the great the GOAT. It's like, what do y'all think? Is 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 Game mad he never got the J verse? Did they try to reach out and get a J verse super early on and and he got shut down? Like, what is it? What do y'all think? And what do you guys think of uh the game's behavior? Like, you know, he does some funny style stuff, am I right? Now now moving along to number two, he's got Nas on there. Like, obviously I fuck with Nas heavy. Everyone hit the comments, what's your favorite? Uh, Nas album, Nas tracks, so many bangers. Like, I could, man, I could talk about Nas's music forever, y'all. You know what I mean? But um, Nas on there, number two. Listen, game second album, Doctor's Advocate. That Why You Hate the Game song with Nas. Whoo, that that's a banger right there. I believe it was Just Blaze on the beat. That joint was hard. Now, I want to point something out, too. Y'all probably remember back then, as you know, Game broke away from G-Unit, was beefing with 50. Um, we saw him collab with Nas. There was also a video that Nas did with um, Bob Marley's son. I forget what the name of uh, Road to Zion was it? The Game was in the video. In one part, he's in a, he's chilling in a jail cell. And uh, if he, when he looks up, he's doing, that was back, y'all remember, early on, game with the one eye thing. You know what I'm saying? Remember? <laughs> That's another, like, that was another wild thing about the game. It was like, yo, when did your eye heal up, homie? But um, someone, though, I commented on one of my blogs I did, though, and said, yo, Coffee, Nas dissed the game before. And I said, I don't, I don't think so. But they said, nah, man, I don't body yourself when he was dissed fifth. He took a... He took a indirect shot at the game, and I said, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't think so. But y'all, let me know what you guys think. But then he's got Wayne up there. We know uh, Wayne in the game. A lot of collaborations together. Always had a had a lot of uh, you know a good relationship. A lot of features. Um, if y'all recall, the game ended up going hard at uh, Young Thug over Little Wayne. And uh, that turned into the oddest beef ever. I ain't even going to get into why because it's like some old, it's kind of some weird-ish. Hit the comments if y'all remember why the Young Thug um, game beef was so weird. Like they, I don't know, man. They they were on some other-ish. And uh, the game ended up hollering at, uh, what was his name? Dude, he's still around. The guy that used to be with, he used to work with Black Wall Street. He used to, um, he used to be, uh. Damn, what was dude's name? He was just supposed to box someone a while ago. I know his name for some reason. At the moment, it's it's slipping my mind. He's out of the shy. Then he's got M on there. Now, let's talk, y'all. We've heard him give Eminem props on numerous occasions, right? Numerous occasions. He's got, he's got, he respects Eminem's pen. They got a feature together also on the documentary. Remember, uh, we ain't going nowhere so fuck you yo that joint that beat was crazy in it what he said if i'm faking i'm clay aching you ain't 50 you ain't game you lame you tame bitch you my sauce some shit but uh i remember my friend back then said yo jay game went too hard like trying to be on the eminem flow on that one i don't know what do y'all think that was that track was hard but anyways 
after he leaves, you know, Beast with the uh, 50 ends up off the label. He gets moved over to Geffen, which I know technically is still kind of under the same umbrella or whatever the case may be. But um, on what was that song with Lil Wayne? That I'm grinding till I'm tired, bitch, you ain't grinding. Um, I forget the name. And Buck was in the video, too. Buck was robbing a store and all that. Do you guys remember on the one line when he said, uh, since there's no proof, or he said it, all the pictures of me and M, I burned them. I ain't preacher, so here's my Eric sermon. Or no, he actually changed the bars. Do y'all remember, though, he said something like, uh, me, me and M, all the pictures of me and M, I burned them, so there's never proof. There's no proof that I ever walked through 8 Mile. And since there's no proof, I'll repeat a proof. I'll never walk through eight mile. So, um, you know, it was kind of like he was that kind of, I felt like that was kind of some shots fired at the game or I'm sorry. Yeah. Eminem, the game after that whole situation, he kind of ended up deserted from Dre too. It was weird the way things went when game ended up off the label, right? He was like by himself, kind of mad, this and everyone, um, kind of a little paranoid. Uh, what was I going to say too? he, Uh, Oh, on Hate the Game, too, he gave Proof a shout-out, too. Remember when he said something like, when my dude Proof was in the booth and he recited his rhymes? Like, yo, R.I.P. Proof, man. I got a Proof video coming on the way, uh, too, guys. Probably should be up within the next week. It should be interesting for y'all. But did you think he dissed Eminem? I thought thought that was kind of some shots at Eminem. He's got Kendrick on there, of course. Much love. He's got much love for Kendrick, although he recently did say... He was better than Kendrick, uh, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Just good competition between Compton MCs, you know what I mean? Uh, But that verse, Compton spit, uh, I mean, we know um, Compton spit, Kendrick spit on the song In the City, that feel the angels in the city. Yo, Kendrick went in when he said some shit like, Snap back fitted on my uncle's dome, and I don't condone dick riding. I'm addicted to West Siding, living in the city with his, you know what I'm saying? He went in on that. But, you know, Kendrick, as K Dot, was all over the Black Wall Street uh, mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the whole TDE was. But, um, you know, moving along, of course, Snoop's on there. Game is Snoop. Go way back. A lot of love between them. Uh, Drake, they got a nice feature together where Drake said, it's a love song, and Drake said, I love you like the Ninja Turtles love pizza. Um, uh, Andre Three Stacks, okay. I respect it on there. J. Cole and then Little Baby. Uh, what do y'all think? What do y'all think of the game's list? Now, and, uh, you know, some of the talking points, the things that I was breaking down and discussing on here. Now, real quick, though, before I, um, you know, close this out. Now, people, what he said, he said, and by the way, I'll go bar for bar with anybody on the list. Now, let's break down the game as an MC. Hit the comments with some of your favorite game tracks, okay? But, right, I want to know something, y'all. Um, where do you rate the game? Because I always felt the game was dope. Like I said, I was a big fan of the man. He just did a lot of suspect-ish. But um, I always respected his pen. I was always the dude talking up, like speaking up on the game's you know, MC skills and all that. And a lot of people are like, Jay, he's trash. Jay, um, you know what I'm saying? He name drops too much, which I, yo, but like I used to stick up for him, but he kind of did name drop too much, right? Like was the name dropping ridiculous to y'all and where do you rate the game's bars? Let's discuss that below as well, as well as everything else we touch on on this one. And listen, if y'all are new to the channel, the Jay Coffee Talk platform, like I said in the beginning, is very interactive. I want to hear from y'all. I'm in the comments, you know, tapping in with what y'all are saying. And like I said, don't forget those live streams as well. Like, fuck with me. You feel me? Um, And then let's check out some. What do you say? I ain't going to lie. I, oh, I ain't even going to read that one. Yo, I wonder why the first person to be feeling a song so much. They was like, hey, uh, hi, tweet. I don't know. But, yo, let's see what some of the responses are real quick. We'll read a few of them and then we'll close this thing out, y'all. Um. Someone said, oh, Tiptoe, what's good, Tiptoe? I'm going to give her a retweet. I'll fuck with Tiptoe Heavy. Shout out to her, y'all. She's a a subscriber of Jay Coffee Talk. She actually tapped in to one of the live streams when we were talking about and praying for DMX, you know, when he was fighting for his life. 
Um, R.I.P. X. Shout out Tiptoe. She says, little baby, where's King Crooked, Ransom, Benny the Butcher? These three I named are a thousand percent be- better than Lil Baby. Shit, Crick the- Crook, the best lyricist in the West at this moment. Yo, Tiptoe knows her shit. And come on, guys. Crook is a beast. Uh, Steve W. said, you know, I don't know why I figured he would have uh, more than just household names for best. Painfully obvious. Number 10 could slash should have should be dropped. But whatever. His list is right. Uh, Ransom laughing. Ransom uh, responded to Tiptoe. Yo, a lot of rappers fuck with Tiptoe. Like Tiptoe's hip hop knowledge is respected by dope MCs. That's what's up. Um, I ain't gonna read that guy's list. Lil Baby and Lil Wayne not supposed to be on that list. Can we stop putting Lil Wayne on these lists? The man raps like he has cotton in his mouth. Uh, and this guy says. It's the game, the game, the game, the game, and Lil Tunchi at number 10. So tap in, let's talk, sub to the channel, daily content, music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. And I apologize, y'all, for my loyal subscribers who rock with me. I got a family member in the hospital, so, you know, I ain't really been able to be getting to the content like I like to. But um, look forward to hearing what y'all got to say. I'll catch you on the next one, and I'm gone. Peace.